Hi there, welcome to Prime Time. I'm Paul Alford and I'm here with my good friend Daniel from the Splendid Agency. And really I wanted to speak to an expert marketer because something that I've always been curious about is can you give a, a brand a personality? Can it evolve into something that we can build rapport with rather than the, the, the people behind the institution? Well, firstly, thanks for having me here today and uh, yeah, representing Splendid Marketing Agency. So can you build a brand, a personality? I think there's a very simple answer to this question. Um, who builds brands? People build brands, right? And every person has a personality. So brands themselves have a personality because they're aimed at people at the end of the day. They're not aimed at, you know, extraterrestrials or, um, you know, invisible creatures. They're aimed at living, breathing human beings. So a brand's personality um, should also reflect the personality of the people that built it for the people that it's built for. So yes, brands do have personality. All right, so let's say all things being equal. Yeah. All right. Um, there's a lot of people in this who watch this who are in, in the forex industry or in, in the marketing side of the forex industry. Ninety-nine percent of the brokerages are the same. So let's say MT4. Yeah. Uh, CRMs are relevant. So the products are the same. The accounts are the same. Mm -hmm. If everything is the same, can you build a personality that way as well? Obviously, you can. And. I think when you look at the different brokers, I'm not going to name yeah, 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 names, yeah, yeah. but um, when you look at the different brokers, I mean, I can see one right across the street from here. Yeah. Um, so um, each one of them has their own personality. There's others which are a little bit more fun. There's others which are more approachable. There's others which are more corporate and dogmatic yeah. uh, in a sense. Uh, so. Um, and there's a reason for that and that's what people often um, misunderstand is that if if a product is the same so um, forex a lot of similar products banks a lot of similar products cars i mean what differentiates a car right you've got your mercedes you've got your bmws you've got your audis very similar um segment or line of vehicles right but each one is targeted for a different persona uh, of client uh, or person same way with forex companies so it's not un I mean they're using MT4 they're using MT5 they're using similar CRMs well guess what um, Volkswagen Group has um, five major brands. They've got Lamborghinis, they've got uh, Skodas, they've got Volkswagens, they've got Seats, yeah. they've got Audis, all under there. So if you flip the bonnet of any um, 1.6 litre uh, Seat, mm. Audi, Volkswagen or Skoda, you're going to pretty much see a very, very, very similar engine yeah. underneath. Uh, it even has the stamps. If you look closely at the Skoda, it even has a stamp on the engine of Volkswagen Audi. So um, it's the same as MT4 and MT5. They're using similar things, but the persona of the brand is very different. So I don't know if that covers. Yeah, all right. So let's just say, for example, um, you're starting off your com a company, because mm -hmm. the usual thing of building widgets, all right? Right. You've employed the marketing person. How would, what would be their ABCs of building a personality for Widget Inc., we'll call it? Uh, can you be a little bit well, more... Okay, like would yeah. I be... How would I be looking to find what my customer needs? Therefore, I'm going to build the personality based upon what my customer needs? Yep. Or am I going to force okay. that personality upon the customer and they'll no. build rapport later on? No. no. Forcing anything upon anybody... Um, sorry to say this, is a little bit fascist. Um, so, um, yes, um, no, we do not do that. How do you do that? It's very simple. How do you get, um, you walk into a bar and there's a pretty girl, you're single, obviously. Yeah. Um, so you walk into a bar, pretty girl in the corner. How do you engage yeah. in a conversation? Do you force the conversation on that person? No, you, first of all, you do your research. Uh, in the case of a bar, it's like you look at the other person, you see the signals uh, that the, the other person is giving you, um, the posture, the dress code, um, the demeanor, etc. And marketing is very similar because it's it's just and, and and I really, really, absolutely any any of you marketers of colleagues just uh, out there, stop over complicating things. 
all right stop right now doing that marketing is simple all right human nature is simple human behavior is simple uh, there's decades and centuries of research into evolutionary biology behavioral psychology and all that all this stems it, it, it is what makes a human today and marketing is just an extension of those disciplines it's it's making sense of human behavior and human nature to deliver the right messages so going back to your question it's the same way you approach a, a person in the bar and you're thinking all right how am i going to approach this person shall i order a drink through the barman mm. so through an affiliate let's say yeah, and yeah. Uh, and uh, and approach that person shall i grab a drink and go there shall i skip the drink altogether and just walk up and engage in friendly conversation and the same way that you understand your clients it's the same thing you do put in those little bit of extra hours and do your research and most importantly ask the right questions just because somebody has the ability to engage with you and your product whether that's the time or the financial ability or whatever doesn't mean that that person is the right person for your product okay or your service all right so engage try and engage with the right people and trust me when i say this the world is huge it's enormous there's billions of us out there and there's always 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 a segment or a market for your product or service you just need to put in the research you need to write you know ask the right questions and uh, engage with that person uh, in a proper manner as you would engage with if that person was live standing right in front of you and you wanted to engage in conversation so would you if you're looking to take on a new person like an apprentice marketer we'll call it yes. would you be more inclined to have someone who's come from a social science background rather than say uh, a generic marketing degree wow okay that is a very interesting yes. question because it does hit a lot of nails um in the thing. myself as daniel i i would love to have somebody with knowledge in behavioral science or evolutionary biology yeah. go into marketing i myself did not uh, graduate marketer yeah. even though now I'm a chartered marketer a qualified chartered marketer I didn't graduate that I graduated from uh, a, a business related subject which is strategy yeah. um, but again business is a social science marketing is a social science behavioral um, uh, you know psychology evolutionary biology all these are social sciences um, and I think degrees in general what are degrees um, I look at them and I, even when I'm lecturing I, I do tell my students the same thing the degree is just what's going to open the first door it's like learning how to run a 400 meter hurdle race right when you're aged I don't know three can you do that no first you learn how to walk well the degree is the walking part learning how to run that hurdle race is all the other learning and experience that you go through right to get you there so in marketing as such um, over the years I feel it's become so people have made it over complicated much more over complicated than it it really is and uh, it's high time that you know we just put a break in it and take it a little bit back to basics and the basics are human nature what drives humans what makes them tick uh, what triggers actions from from humans and uh, I think uh, a psychologist or a biologist are much much better at least on the first step of actually walking uh, much better understanding those 
basic terms and from there you build up yeah. you build into marketing all right cool you spent a lot of time in the uk um you're aware of dominic cummings the... um no. okay well basically he's like the the guy running the uk at the moment he's okay. like boris johnson's brain we'll call it oh okay. and so he's got a government. huge right. well he's an advisor he's not elected that's the thing okay and really he masterminded the brexit campaign okay oh. so without becoming political about who he yeah. is and what he does etc he really um took advantage of like that's called the real cutting edge marketing of looking at the numbers looking at people looking really how to use data yes is this really what the perfect marketer is because he's taken a message which many many people from like brexit for example thought no chance but he knew his core market he knew the message to punch in mm -hmm. and he delivered it succinctly rather than the other people on the opposing side you know and also for example in charge of um the message for the lockdown in the uk where he's got the three like the three pillars we discussed prior to yeah. shooting i think it was it's stay at home save the nhs save lives yes you know like say someone can yes. always pull on one of them three pillars yes. and think about those three messages so, repeat them again yeah. it's uh, stay, at home, stay at home save the nhs save the save NHS, lives save lives yeah. so so like 60 percent or what, what is what is those three messages triggering what are those three messages triggering? Um, think of it very, very simply. Yeah. It's triggering your, as a human being, your kind of responsibility to your social tribe, right? We evolved from chimpanzees, basically apes. So um, apes have a social structure. So yeah, there's social hierarchies and there's social structures there. And in society we have that as well. And you feel the need to protect this group that you're in. In this case it's the UK, you're part of the UK. So by telling you, by staying at home, it gives you the, the core of the message comes up first. It's stay at home, right? Protect the NHS, which is protect the thing that you might need in case you get sick. Because if you don't, people might die, yeah, yeah. right? Save lives. People might die. So what 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 does that trigger? That trigger actually um, a very very important key element of, of human nature, which is fear. Mm -hmm. Okay, you've got key elements in human nature, which is fear, which is love, which is care. All these basic basic elements, empathy, which have developed us as well as a species. All right, so that's what is triggering. Now, if he did that through doing his homework and looking at the numbers and the data and the research and asking the right questions to derive to those messages all right then he's done a right job and trust me politicians <laughs> politicians I'm not a political person as well but I do love to watch uh, political campaigns because I think politicians have um, are really really good at bringing out messages for the masses okay for the masses doesn't mean they they, they, they they attract anybody but at the end of the day they do not want to attract anybody yeah. they want to attract the majority and as we kind of discussed before this um, if you look at all the political campaigns let's say in the last I don't know 50 hundred years especially in countries like UK USA you always see three pillars like which undermine a political campaign that's family yeah. that's uh, the nation of course all right and nine out of ten times it does involve religion as well so it's the three pillars that kind yeah. of trigger some basic can you use these three pillars to develop your brand you know like it's it for one of them your brand is. Yeah. it does depend what your brand is i mean uh religion wouldn't really fit into forex uh, no, but, for for, yeah but you could um you could broad you could broaden that religion to uh like a cult like following you know this sort that, of thing. that yes when you and a lot of brands are actually doing that a lot of brands have developed a cult like follow. i mean best case example there you go cult like following sneakers converts yeah, yeah. they started off from basketball but then they went into the skater scene they yeah. went into you know the surfer scene and all these guys like vans and th so they've developed that cult following into these sort of segments if you look at um uh, another another good example is um oh, let me give you one. martins yeah there's another one the, in australia yeah um australian viewers would probably tell me better but uh ford or i think in england it's a voxel I mean, you, uh, you can correct Opel, me what I, It's Opel and Voxel, but yes. But like, um, in Australia, they actually have fights. 
over yeah. like which tribe they are essentially with their car. Yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe the Australian viewers can comment below and tell us which one it is. Because I'd be very interesting. Yeah, yeah I'd yeah, be yeah. very interested to to see what they think of that. I've, I haven't heard of it, but it would yeah. be very interesting to discuss. So yeah. yes, please comment uh, and. Uh, well, you get that. You yeah. you get that. Uh, you get that in. It, I'll keep. I mean, think of it. Um, something even simpler. Football. Yeah. Football. Yeah. You've got your Liverpool's and your Man United. Well, it's a PLC as well. It's listed on the stock yeah. exchange. Man United, yeah. where people go and yeah. kick each other's heads in. Yeah. To, you want to go beat someone up for GlaxoSmithKline, for example. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It was like I'm with Bayer and I'm with Glaxo. You know, like, like, let's have a fight. Yeah. Um, no. So, um, but you know, brands do tend to. Um, some of them create this cult following and mind you it's very powerful it's very very powerful when once you achieve that that's I think is one of the most powerful things that a brand can achieve which is a cult following and what is a cult following drill it down it's a community of people it's a yeah. group of people which are um, uh, characterized by similar behavior yeah. right a similar views similar values similar behaviors again coming back to basic societal yeah. um, characteristics right in in society you have your criminals you have your bankers you have your middle class you have your uh, working class you've you've got your upper class yeah. you know you've got your people who love coffee or your people who like surfing yeah. and so uh, People, by nature, human beings, group yeah. themselves. Okay, um, there is, I've never ever met, and I've met people that say, you know, I'm fully independent, I'm, I'm, I'm a liberal, you know, I'm, a, you know, I'm, 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 I'm my own person, yeah. I'm like, everybody belongs to some sort of group. Everybody shares some common values with somebody else. And all these people who say that they're completely independent from society, completely independent from each other, and their own people, trust me, there's millions of them out there in the world. And if you put them all together, uh, they have common groups on Facebook, they have common groups on LinkedIn, so they, even themselves, they yeah. group with each other. So um, it's, and again, stemming back from basic human nature. Yeah. Okay, well, let's wrap it up there. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Do it us a favor. Good. Could you tell everybody on the camera how to take advantage of your marketing mega brain? How to take advantage of my, okay. Uh, that your is, contact details. That is yeah, a huge statement. Okay, um, just a normal person, happened to uh, know a thing or two about marketing uh, over the years out of experience. So if you need this, splendid.agency. That's where you're going to find us. Uh, I'm Daniel Abdomalek. We've got a great team of people and we're always willing to share a coffee and chit chat and see how and if we can assist you in any way. OK, also, I'll have it, his name linked if you're watching this on LinkedIn, also with the agency as well. So you can just contact that way as well. My man, a pleasure. Thank you. It was brilliant and a lovely day indeed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cheers, everyone. See you. Bye.